Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to download iTunes on macOS Big Sur and Catalina. Recently uh, you might have witnessed that in macOS Catalina and Big Sur you can no longer find iTunes. Uh, and that's true. Uh, Apple removed iTunes. You can no longer uh, install it from Apple Store or whatever source but there is a way there is an application you need to download that i will put the link down in the description and just open the link it will guide you to this page all you need to do is just click here download it i have already uh, downloaded this one it's around uh, 39 mb so it's gonna take some time uh, then let's open the application okay verifying retroactive because this application is not verified so what you're gonna do is just go to system preferences uh, come to security and privacy here this one just click open anyway it was the request for a password no it didn't request for a password great so as you can see this is the retroactive application uh, we have opened this one you can download these uh, install these applications so you want to go for the iTunes uh, but please uh, do keep in mind that you can install iTunes only up to version 12.9 so if you want to install some older versions you can do so uh, this is the latest version so I will go with this one click continue it will ask you to authenticate it first it will ask for your password to type your password So yeah, it's, it will start downloading. This will take time because uh, I think iTunes is around 250 or 300 MB, something around that. So I will skip all these phases when the download is done. Uh, I will show you what to do next. So guys, as you can see, the download is complete. It again uh, requires for the password. Just enter your password. In the meantime, I would like to mention that uh, I was not able to download the version of 12.9. I don't know why it's some uh, MacBooks it works and in some it doesn't. It would give me an error saying that uh, you are unable to download it. Either you would click on retry or cancel. So I installed the 12.6 version. You uh, try. Maybe you are able to download the 12.9. Otherwise, you can go for the 12.6. So okay, I enter the password. Let's see. It's going to extract the iTunes. Then they will configure it and install it. The configuration is also done. Now it's installing the iTunes. Okay, it is installed. So what uh, this option asks is that uh, you can give a full disk access to it in order to sync all the iPad devices like this. So yeah, the iTunes is installed. Let's go and launch it and see how it works. How it is? Okay, would you like to create a new iTunes library? So the iTunes is installed on your MacBook. You can use it uh, as you was using it previously. But uh, I would like to point out, okay, a few things um, that, uh, as you know, that MacBook is no uh, Apple is no longer supporting iTunes. So you might face any issues with the items apple is not there to support you anymore so if you are used with the items very much you are addicted uh, you can download it using this procedure as i explained but uh, maybe in the future this does not work so uh, there is an alternative as well like what macbook suggests is all you need to do is just go to this finder uh, my uh, iPhone is already connected. You can uh, see this screen. Uh, I have another video on this one. You can find it on my YouTube channel. You can have access to all those features and functions which are within iTunes uh, here. You have this general tab, music, movies, TV show, whatsoever you want. Even you can access the iTunes uh, music. Just you need to come here to this music one and here you can see iTunes store is here. You can download those musics or whatever you want. So uh, there are two ways, either you go and download the iTunes um, as I showed you in this video uh, or either you can go with what Apple replaced iTunes with. But if you want to go more into detail, uh, 
you can go to my youtube channel uh, find that video where i explained uh, how you can uh, use all those itunes features without having itunes installed in your macbook okay uh, so that's all from my side i hope uh, it was useful uh, do like the video and if you have any question put it down below in the comment section and uh, see you in the next video have a good time